Music wise, I was just starting to do shows out um, Brooklyn, Maryland. It was a spot called um, Club Taste International, and they had this thing called Rock the Mic. They had it like every Wednesday, the first Wednesday of every month, and I was a regular. I mean, traveling back and forth all that, which is, I think it was like an hour ride going back and forth, but I did this for like two years straight. So it was to the point where I was starting to earn a name and people were seeing me. Like, yo, you jumping on stage? Like, oh yeah, they see if they seen me, I just rocked the mic. They seen me that day, they knew I was jumping on stage. It was like no question. And also around this time, as far as a producer, I was I was like really starting to find my groove and I was um submitting my my beats to um strictly hip hop eighty eight point nine. They had a test band. Um, segment, you know, a producer send you can either send your music, your beats, or like songs. I was only sending beats because I really didn't have no way to record it at this time, so I was sending beats. And I, my first time doing it, I lost naturally. I'm like, all right, you know, take a shot in the dark, hope you make the shadows bleed. Apparently, they didn't. Life lesson learned, but I'm still doing, I'm still performing, you know, getting my feet wet, you know jumping on stage, killing stuff. Also around this time, the name Precision is completely gone. I am no longer Precision. I had to let go of the name. And that's because um, the producer group called the Executioners, one of the members' name is Precision. He has legal rights to that shit. I'm like, I don't, so I have to get rid of it. I can't carry that name. So now I have to find a name. <laughs> and I distinctly remember me and Street, we had we had our regular rap names, then we had producer names. Mine was XO, like the drink, and his is Cognac. <laughs> because our our beats would get you fucked up. That was our frame of mind. Why did we think that shit? Who knows? But it was cool to us. So, my name was just straight X-O. And I remember someone opening up, uh, they wanted to open up a clothing store. And have different artists on board to draw stuff on the main. And when I went in there, you know, the lady was like, um, what's your name? I said, XO. She didn't put XO. She put E. XO. And I just stared at it. I was like, that's not my bowl. Hold on. I was like, oh, shit. I never thought the fucking spell like that. And then I thought about XO Squad. I love that fucking cartoon. <laughs> I love XO Squad. So I'm like, damn. XO. And I'm really saying that, like, I do need a new name. And I just can't use XO. XO. I'm like, what the hell is that thing called? The exterior of a, of a, um, of an insect. What do they have? Exoskeleton. I'm like, oh, shit. That's the name. I'm going to go under exoskeleton. And then I create, so XO is actually an acronym, which is Excellent Organizer. So, boom, there you go. That's where the name came from. Also, the name is also modeled after one of my favorite animes, The Giver. Because The Giver has what, ladies and gentlemen? An exoskeleton. Boom. See? We learned something today. <laughs> I love that. I like the way you break shit down. It's a cool name. <laughs> uh, you, you're Thank very you. good Thank at this uh, storytelling thing, which is fun. Thank you. Thank you. So why I say it's fun is because sometimes uh, MCs and rappers are not good at actually telling stories about their life. It's not that they're bad storytellers, but they're bad at the life stories. They're okay with the like pre-scripted artist stories, but then you get to the life stuff and it's like, you know, bring that charm in. And right, like, right, 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 right. It's almost like they can't code switch into it. You're like, fuck that. This is a whole experience because my life's the alter ego. Yes. See? There yeah, we go. Man. I, I fuck it. I fuck yeah, it. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nah, I'm having a great time. Yo, did you think about making an album concept about a superhero slash have you done that because we didn't get there yet? No, I'm lying. I did think about that shit. I did think about that. Um, Ghostface, he has two albums called 12 Reason to Die. And it's on some comic book superhero shit. And he also has 36 seasons. 
did the same exact thing. And I'm looking like, yo, I think I, I would mind doing something like that. A comic book concept based album. So it did cross my mind to do something like that. But yes, that's a good question. I was thinking about that. That is a good question. Uh, one of my favorite rap songs is Secret Wars by The Last Emperor about superheroes versus rappers. God damn it, you are the fucking truth because I was about to no, say was, something about was, that. That is comment. my favorite. got to give him the props for that. <laughs> oh, awesome. I love that fucking song. Oh my God, when I finally found it, like, I was like, I was in the bathroom taking a dump and it popped up in my head like, damn, yo, what the fuck that song? What was the name of that song? And I like YouTubed it. And I just played that bitch on repeat. Like, yo, I love it. I remember late nights listening to 80.9, hoping I heard that song. And there's a part two to it. There was a part two to it. And that shit was just as good as the first one. I fucking love that song. Thank you, Ishmael. You are the truth, sir. Because, God yeah, damn it, wonderful. I love that song. Wonderful guy oh, having the comments. Uh,